So when I change those, this should now be 2.5. Uh, when I changed it to 1.5 for my diameter of the large circle, and then I made the height between centers there 0.5. My overall height is now 2.5 inches for this. So when I stop the sketch and I re-look at Um, when I relook at my side view, we can clearly now see that that is no longer an issue. And you can actually test this by rotating your axle. So this is kind of the fun part. We need to create a, um, con or a grounded um, point. So see how this moves around? We don't want that. So we're going to ground one of these sides in space. So to do that, I'm going to just right click on a side and hit ground. And I'm going to hit continue so it captures its original position. Okay, so now this can't move. If I click on any of these items, they're rigidly constrained. However, there's only there's one that's not a rigid constraint, and that's the axle. So if you grab the axle, you can actually start rotating it and see it move. And you can see, okay, do I have clearance or not? So I could take off the sidewall look at it from the side and look at my clearance there. I could take my and I could rotate it all the way around. Not much clearance there but it, it, it clears. So that will work. Okay now if you if you think you need more clearance here at the top um, then make it smaller. So I can go back into my cam, go back into my sketches, and modify this. So to, to change that, I mean, I could just move this value to like 0.4, and now that shrinks it up. So I didn't change the actual diameter of the cam, I just moved where that rotation point was. Stop the sketch, should update. So again, you see that there's more clearance there now. Um, sometimes the grounded constraint gets all weird. Okay, I don't understand why it does that, so I'm just going to delete that ground constraint, and I'm just going to put a new one in. So I'll right-click on the side, click on ground, and now it should hold it so now I can grab this. And again, I can check my clearances on that. That's how we create a cam. That's how we get it to be in there, and that's how we check to make sure that it's actually working the way we want.